Speaker. The, the Honourable Tiurara Flavel. Mr Speaker, kia ora tata katoa. Kia ora. Uh, Mr Speaker, that speech was, was beautiful. That speech, that speech was, was beautiful, was touching. It was so moved, I was almost moved to tears. Almost, but no. Because that was sad, sad news for Aotearoa. If that's what's coming round the corner, we're in trouble. E hoa we are in big, big trouble. Mr Speaker, I'm pleased to stand on behalf of the Māori Party today to declare support for this budget and indeed support to the Honourable uh, Mr Joyce right. for delivering, I think, a good job. A good job. It must have been because the Māori Party was beside him. That's right. Mr Speaker, <coughs> as we say in Tarawa, and this is a very important saying, the singer may have changed, but the waiata is exactly the same. Mr Speaker, the Minister of Finance may be new, uh, but with the help of the mighty Māori Party, there are some real goodies in this budget for the whānau. Mr Speaker, whānau have always been at the heart of what we have been about as a Māori Party. From the first time we came into this House, we've talked whānau at all times, above all. Mr Speaker, we've promoted whānau. We've been looking after whānau from day one. And the Māori Party, by the sounds of it, had our sticky fingers all over this budget because its focus has been on whānau. And so while, Mr Speaker, it has been a National Party budget in some ways, I can say the huge footprint of the Māori Party is over this part budget in looking at supporting whānau. Mr Speaker, like it, the predecessor, he sees the value of innovative approaches to tackling issues affecting Māori. Mr Speaker, Bill English, as the Prime Minister in his time, uh, in, uh, as Minister of Finance in his time, he worked closely with the Māori Party, and I'm pleased to say that Stephen Joyce has done a similar approach, recognising that we as the Māori Party are all about tackling issues up front and head on. We want to contribute, not get angry, not go wild, not lose the head, not do the spin, but actually we want to contribute in a positive way. So I'm saddened by the fact that, the minister, that uh, Mr Peters voted against treaty settlements again and again and again, because that's what they do, voted against uh, housing projects like Point England, voted against oh, anything to do with Chinese names. He's up for it because it's election time. As soon as we hit election time, uh-oh, pull out the racism card. It's a winner every time. So that's the sort of sad approach that's happened. Mr Speaker, I want to say this. You've got to be, you've got to be in the game. You've got to be in the game. You can't play the game from the sidelines. You need to be in the game. And sometimes, Mr Speaker, we need someone to blow the whistle a few times, attract a bit of attention and get results. But you cannot get anything unless you're at the field. And so, as I say, at the table where we are and we will continue to be and support any initiatives that assist Māori people. Right. Mr Speaker, being at the table as a support party for the national government, we have secured and influenced, hold on, here it is, more than $2 billion worth of gains in the budget. Only $2 billion. Oh, oh, no, 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 hold on, there's more. Actually, more than $2 billion. More than two billion. Those in opposition that are yelling me at me at the moment, oh hold, hold on, what have they gained over the last nine years? Kore, nothing, zilch, zip, naught, nothing. That's what they've achieved, and yet they got the cheek to come into this house and have a go at the two Māori Party members of Parliament who sit next to the government and get more than two billion dollars, Mr. Speaker. It's a good day to be in the Māori Party. Mr Speaker, that means two million more, two million dollars more in whānau water in this year's budget. Two million dollars, that's ten million. Oh, and it's ten million dollars more than that lot have got. I'll tell you that. But hold on, Mr Speaker, there's more. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah, hold on. The thing, that's the difference between us, eh? We just talk to each other. They've got to ask Willie. They've got to ask Willie. 
Andrew. Oh, Andrew. Either way, they're going to ask somebody. Not like you and okay. mine. No. No, that's right. Back off. Back off. Get down the back. Down the back. Settle down, boys. Kia okay. So that's what's happened. But, Mr. Speaker, we've got more. 10 million for Marae. Let's hear it. Is somebody going to speak up about $10 million against Marae? Hold on. Shh, shh. Oh, they are. They are going to speak up against Marae. They're going to speak up against Marae, Mr. Against Marae, Mr. Speaker. 20 mi Hold on. Here's another one. $21 million. $21 million for Maori language and culture initiatives. Hold on. Oh, they did it again. They did it again. They spoke up against Maori language and culture because that's what they do in the Labour Party. They, they speak against things Maori. Gains for Maori, Mr. Speaker. That's what we're on about. Every day, every month, and any dollar we get today is better than the dollar we didn't have yesterday. So we're on a roll, Mr. Speaker, and we are here to make gains. So watch this space. Mr. Speaker, just in case there's any doubt, Mr. Speaker, just in case there's any doubt, for the people of Wanganui, I need to tell them, Mr. Speaker, $122 million in this budget, Mr. Speaker. I know you're the Speaker, and I know you'd want to clap, but I'll let you off today, Mr. Speaker. $122 million in the budget. Mr. Speaker, at the heart of this budget, uh, we have pathways to allow people to move into home ownership. Hold on, let's see if they talk about moving into home ownership. Shh, shh. Let's listen. Let's listen. Oh, they did it again. Not again. They spoke against home ownership, Mr. Speaker. It's so sad. My people, Fokoronga, listen to this. Unbelievable. And so, here's the point, Mr. Speaker. If you want to have people speak against things Māori, look one to New Zealand first and look two to the Labour Party because that's what they do. And, I, and I'm really sad about that, Mr. Speaker, because we're all different. We're all in different shapes and sizes and clearly in different political parties. Mr. Speaker, our solutions is to look across the board to try and find solutions for our people. So, man, there's been so many gains in this budget. It's unbelievable. But we expect, of course, and I'll be, I'll be clear here, that Māori are overrepresented in some statistics. Some statistics. But you don't just moan. The idea is don't moan about it. Do something about it. And for too long, the Labour Party, in fact, for nine years, have moaned and moaned and moaned. And what has the Māori Party done? We've moved and moved and will continue to move forward. That's what we're about. So, in fact, I can say this. Um, an extra two, uh, two and a half thousand whānau, sir, will be re-reached by whānau order through this budget. And that's on top of the 11,500 who have already been supported just in this last year. So we're supporting looking after whānau. So hold on, some more whānau to get help in this budget. Let's listen, let's listen. Oh, they did it again, not again. That's four times, Mr. Speaker. That's shocking. That's unbelievable. So, Mr. Speaker, let's just, let's just check on one more. Let's just check on one more. So we got the Ture Whenua Māori bill going through the House. We got $32 million to build a Māori land service that's going to look after Māori land. $32 million all ready to go. That's just the first part. That's just the first part. Hold on. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, number five. I got five, Mr. Speaker. I'd go for six, but I'm running out of time. In fact, Mr. Speaker, I'm pretty sure that no matter what I said, that lot would speak against it, against, against more than $4 billion of money for Māori communities in this land. Mr. Speaker, $4 billion. That's right. Over the length and breadth of the time that the Māori Party has been in hell. But hold on, hold on. Let's see if they know how much money they got in the last nine years. Shh, 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 shh. Nine years. Let's just check. Oh, yeah, where? I know, where? Where did you see any money around at all from the Labour Party for, the, for this country? Nowhere. That's where? Nowhere, Mr Speaker. So I can say, Mr Speaker, this is a good day. This is a good day to be in the Māori Party. And, hey, Mr Speaker, the main thing is, Mr Speaker, and here's the big pitch. All by two people. All by two people. Gains that have been made. So I'm looking forward to the election because the Māori Party is on fire when the shark 
and the Fox rock your house. David Seymour. Mr. Speaker, they